there's one there's one last thing I want to ask you about. I know the president speak he didn't speak very long at all, but uh on Darfur. Uh is he going is he going to get involved with that or or um I know I know the countries are so close together. Um or can you address that? Actually it happens that I was director for the uh, vice director for the NGOs in Chad. I direct 276 non-governmental organizations, all of them or most of them working in Darfur region during the crisis. And uh, our president is the first person who called for the international community, called for their attention to what's going on over there. And uh, he tried to solve it because by any means, since we are neighbors, if there is fire in your neighbor's house, you are not safe. You try to help him, even if it is not in your house yet. That's why when we start seeing the problems, we try, we, we try to stop it because we, we, we know that the fire gradually will come and touch us from far or from close. So he call and he call and he call and he tried this and this and that and this and that. I don't like to involve much in politics, but what I'm saying is that there are some people are su real suffering there. They don't have places when you see those places because, uh, you know, I, I have like 14 coordinators. They go, they bring me the, the reports, the financial reports, the activity reports, and, you know, and we follow with the Minister of Plan at that time. So you see there is a real, real uh, sad situation, especially for the, uh, for the oldest, for the children, for the women, because in Africa especially, we still, you know, the man is the one the economical factor in our families. And when the man go to the battle uh, or go, go to the war, then nobody else take care of us most of the time. Then uh, not only the care, but uh, a lot of things the man do it at home, offering a lot of things, even the discipline for the kids most of the time. So when the man be killed or if he lost part of his body or or even just let him disappear for some reason or another because there is instability in the area. That makes it very difficult for the families. And most of the time when I am a mother of many kids, when I see my husband leave, you know, sleeping beside me and check my kids and cover them with the blankets, always the picture of Darfur coming across my mind. Always. It never, it never gone out of my mind. Because, you know, I'm saying they are also family like this. They deserve a father and, you know, they deserve a blanket. Even if we don't have mattress, they deserve something that, you know, they, they have to declare their existence on the life. But, you know, for whatever reason is, just if the child can find himself in, in the middle of, you know, nowhere. And that makes me sad as a mother in the first place. Well, you know, <coughs> I know you have more things to do then talk with me because some of the things that we want to talk about but you know I just uh, really appreciate your sitting down speaking with me you have a beautiful building here uh, everybody's been so hospitable uh, so friendly uh, invited me in they said that if the president did have time I would definitely get an interview with him didn't quite happen I guess he got put behind early this morning I guess uh, when is he expected back again to America as soon as uh, possible, because, you know, America is America. Nobody can deny that. And, uh, you know, the way we run to welcome the leader, the way the world run to welcome America, because America is a leader. And we like America's leadership. But we really give advice to the Americans. If you want to be a leader, you should fulfill the requirements of leadership. Don't divide the people into black and white and uh, red and up and down. But the people that they are following you you have to provide them everything and that 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 so our president is really love to come to america especially have a special uh, relation with uh, president barack obama even before before his uh, president's presidency when he visited darfur he went to danjimena and he spent some time with our president at that time so um, he himself believed that he can make a good relation with the Americans. We lived in America for a while. We have, v we are very grateful, honored by being here, especially people of Fort Wayne. We love them. We you love know, them. 
You just said one thing there. You know, your life basically, I think, probably has changed a whole lot from you leaving Chad and coming here. Everybody changes to come here, but people who are here are so reluctant to change. Now that there's an African-American president, some just are having a hard time with that picture, and it just doesn't look right uh, uh, because of the past. You know, what can you say to all Americans, uh, because one day it might be a Hispanic president, Native American president, you know, what do we have to do to, to, to uh, get ourselves ready for that kind of change and not, again, fear it? Believe me, change is good. Change is good because, for example, if there is 10 families, if we give example of 10 families, each family have five children, if you focus on one family, all the presidents coming from that family, even if the whole family became presidents, you have only five presidents. But if you focus on the 10 families, you're gonna have 50. And I'm sure that when the people be more, definitely more brains, better abilities, and better people will come. It's not just X ethnicity have the best, no. God puts that uh, ability on different people. And one thing that all the world, no question on that, that America have it, is that there is a freedom and there is democracy. One of their principles. If I advise the American thing, grab that principle very well and keep it safe. Because that's the only thing distinguish you from us and the rest. It's freedom and democracy. Freedom and democracy, a true freedom. And when we see that even if you are against Barack, but you're supporting Barack, because the rest said that, because the 68%, the, the majority, said yes for him, you are from the minus 16, but you support him, that give us a different picture. That give us a different picture. That give us a, a picture that this is, this is the land that you love to be in. So... Americans don't hesitate to have different leaders since you have that constitution because that constitution is a guide for the president and for the rest of the people. But if you try to manipulate the constitution, you're going to lose everything. The day the, the world we are following, the day we felt like, for example, the American are, you know, even if the majority said yes, they are just playing around because they don't want the person, the, the, the choice of the majority. You would become like anybody else. What differentiates you from the rest? What money? There is some countries they have money like you. Power? There is some country have power like you. People? There is some people even more than you. The only thing distinguish America as America is when we see, you know, after the whole what we read and what we seen and what we blah blah blah, then you come to conclusion that some people. I love McCain when he ended the the, the the race. He congratulated. Obama, although he, during the, how vigorous he was and during, you know, the elections. I love that because that really showing true leadership. He lost the, 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 um, the election, but he come to the, to the, to the will of the people. And that's the best I believe. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you to Portland people. Thank you.